Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Maddie um, and today it is Ellie's fifth birthday. So what is a better video than doing something she likes the least, unfortunately, and that is our weekly grooming routine. So as you can see, Ellie is fresh out of the bath. So I'm going to cut to a really cute bath montage um, of me bathing her because it takes quite a while because I use several different products on her. Um, and then I'm going to get into how I groom her and what products I use to dry her. And that brings us to today's sponsor. That is the Dews Hands-Free Dryer, which I will be getting into in a few minutes. But first, let's get to the bathing process. I'm gonna show you what I do right before her bath. And that is clean her ears. I just use the Zymox ear cleaner because it's like an enzymatic cleaner. She hates it and it gets the part around her ears a little bit oily, which is why I do it right before I bathe her. Come here. Get up. Okay, we're going to do your ears. So I just squirt it down there and then massage her ears for a second. Your ears don't actually get dirty that often. <laughs> That's a really goofy face. I just let her shake. It like displaces all the earwax. Take like a cotton swab or a paper towel and wipe the ear out. As you can see, there's like not much on it because her ears aren't really that dirty. Okay, I'll show you what shampoo and conditioner I'm using. So I like using like natural shampoos and conditioners. I'm using Isle of Dogs today. Okay, ready? I envy people who have short haired dogs. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm taking my Black Star shampoo. This makes her uh, white, whiter. <laughs> oh. Nope. Nope. Intercepted. We're going in with a conditioner. I love dogs can conditioner. Oh. And then with the conditioner, I let it sit in her fur for like 10 to 15 minutes. The drying process is very important, but first I'm gonna towel dry because it makes the drying process easier. Now we're back and we are downstairs in my little grooming nook that I have here. Ellie is hooked up to my grooming table. This is basically what I do every single week for Ellie to keep her coat nice. And I always have people ask me how I keep her so white and fluffy and soft. And so I'm going to show you that today. The first thing that I'm going to show you guys is this awesome dryer and I'm going to show you how I use it and how helpful it is expediting the process of me grooming her because I don't need to use my hands to dry her anymore because I have this awesome little dryer that just sits right on the table or you can mount it on a wall. So that's pretty cool, but I don't really have any walls around here to mount it on. So it sits on my grooming table and it's really small and compact, so it fits perfectly. So let's get into it and I will show you guys the dryer. This is the Dews Hands-Free Pet Dryer. It is super lightweight and portable and extremely quiet. It has three different wind speeds, low, medium, and high, and three different temperature settings. So you can use cold, warm, or hot air. The hose on the top rotates 360 degrees or you can fix it in position so you can use it hands-free. It can be mounted on the wall or it comes with a base so you can set it on the table. It's super compact and portable so you can use it just about anywhere in any room. And it's great for smaller dogs or dogs that are afraid of blow dryers because it is super quiet. So now I'm going to show you how it works on my dog. All right, so as you can see, Ellie has a lot of fur. She's still pretty wet, although I've towel dried her quite a bit. And I'm going to show you guys how I groom her. This is just a normal like brush out. I'm not gonna clip her very much other than her feet. We are going to get into drying her while I'm brushing her. So before I start that, it is a super quiet dryer, but I don't want you guys to have to listen to it the entire time. I usually use a fine tooth comb for her fur. So you can tell how quiet it is. It's like super quiet. You can still hear me talking. It's pretty great. I love it. Especially for dogs that are really super skittish of the dryer, which Ellie isn't. I used to have a dog that was petrified of the dryer and that would have been perfect for him. She's mostly dry on this side, so I'm going to switch to the other side. If you're wondering why I'm not wearing makeup and my hair is like up and looks terrible, it's because 
I feel like dog grooming is never a pleasant experience for me and I always get covered in hair and water, so I just don't even try. And nothing is different today, so. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so now that she's mostly dry, we're going to move on to brushing. Now, I am a firm believer that no matter what size dog you have, no matter what kind of hair they have, unless it's corded or your dog is like hairless, you should be brushing your dog every single day. Um, it's good for their coat and it's good to remove excess hair. Hello. I love you, why are you getting so close to my face? So, I brush my dog every single day just using this, like I mentioned. I'm gonna go over her real quick with this. And then I will show you the other tool that I use for her, which works really well for dogs with medium coats. She's really good about being brushed, except she doesn't like her feet being touched at all, especially like the front left one. She hates that. She does lose like a lot of her fur after baths as well. I don't like to brush her when she's completely dry. So if she does like dry out completely or you know, when I'm brushing her every day, I just use like a sprayable coat conditioner um, just to like moisten her coat up so it doesn't break off any of the hair when I'm brushing. So now she's brushed out with that brush. I'm gonna show you guys the other brush that I use. This is the other brush I use. It's an undercoat rake. I have two of them. This this one has like wider teeth and the other one has like teeth that are closer together. I always go over with the wider tooth comb first and then with the one that are closer together. But I'm just gonna use this one for example purposes today. There's fur all over me. And I'll show you how to use it. Um, you just have to be careful with these because they're kind of sharp. So you don't wanna like snag any of your dog's like rolls or anything. What I do is I kind of like grab like up here her fur a little bit to like pull it snug and then just go in the direction of the hair see the hair like falling off and then I only do it in like basically this area this area and on her shoulders and chest I leave her stomach her tail and her like britches alone because um, I found that this kind of like pulls out long hair so you can like do this and like nothing comes out anymore woo And then last but not least, grooming wise for like the weekly, oh, weekly grooming, we are doing her feet, which are super important here in Michigan, especially in the winter time, because all this extra fur, when they're out in the snow for a while, if they're out playing or running around, gets matted and clumped up. Her foot has some extra fur on it, actual too, like there's some of her actual fur on it, but um, I haven't cut it this week yet. But unfortunately my shears are broken, so I'm going to be using regular scissors, so I have to be really careful, and I'll use my clippers for the underside of her paw pad. But that just makes it so like salt and snow doesn't get stuck all over her feet. And like I said before, her feet are super sensitive, so we have to be careful. Because she's really ticklish. So I take a brush, usually I use a slicker brush, but I don't have one here yet. And I brush the fur on the top of her paw upwards. And then I just take scissors. You go get your whiskers cut off, girl. And I just trim it. Sometimes I use the clippers on her feet, but like on the tops, but she seems like really, really, really sensitive to that. So I try to not do it super often. Please excuse her nails. She was with my parents for, like I said, a very long time. So I'm obviously not expecting them to brush her every day or give her baths every week or you know, like even Dremel her nails super often and their Dremel is broken. So they are a little bit longer than they normally would be. So I'm just gonna show you on this foot. I know it's like, it's her worst foot too. She hates this one being touched more than any other foot, but it's the closest one to the camera, so. Now I'm just gonna take my clippers and touch up the underside of the paw. Stop, I know. She hates it so much. So now we're gonna take our Dremel. Keep in mind, I literally only did this foot and only partially because she hates it. Um, as long as I can keep it pretty short, I don't really care. She's not a confirmation dog, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, I'm going to take this and do her nails. Okay, cool. So that's an example of me doing one of her feet. As you can tell, she hates it, even though she gets it done pretty often. Um, I know there's some dogs that literally need to be like anesthetized to do their nails, which is really sad. But that's the other thing I believe in, you know, doing your dog's nails every week. Set a nail day and then brush your dog a lot 
and do their nails because it's something that can like really get out of hand and you don't want your dog to have mats and super long nails because when they're walking on their nails, if their nails are super long, it affects the way that they're walking and it can hurt their joints. And it's just overall not good. It's just better to keep up with them. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. And also just a disclaimer, I'm not a groomer. I'm not claiming to be a groomer. I'm aware that like pretty much everything I did will probably be cringed at and screamed at by groomers. So if you're a groomer, scream at me, give me tips. I would love to hear it <laughs> because I'm not grooming her for like confirmation shows or anything. The only shows we do are like obedience and sports and stuff. So it's not the end of the world. I just like keeping her clean and groomed. So that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys have any questions for me about anything, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you to The Do's Hands Free Dryer for sponsoring this video. And you guys can find the link to get yourself one down in the description below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye and say goodbye to Ellie. All right, so here she is completely done. The only thing I didn't really do is her feet. She's all done. That's what she looks like when she's all finished. I hope you enjoyed seeing her because she'll be around more because she's back. She's back and she's home. Right, say happy birthday. Your ears. Yeah, always your good ears. All right, goodbye.